Salty Stitcher. Hi, this is Angelina from Ashley Jane Milan. And welcome back. I'm trying to look at my phone here. This is floss tube number 45. And wow. Yeah, 9th of September, floss tube 45. That's um, awesome. Yeah, it's been about a month and two weeks, month, yeah, month and a half, month and a week uh, since our last video. It's and been that long. It has. We've just had a ton of personal stuff going on. Um, a ton. I just call it a shitload. <laughs> <laughs> I would call it, yeah, I would call it probably a shit show. But <laughs> Right, right. Um, and that's technical speak yeah. for what's been going on. Um, we probably won't get into that, but I do have a lot of updates. Um, okay. Of what's going on here, at least in the Salty Stitcher design world. And it looks like from your background, you've been a little productive. Uh, yes. Because I haven't uh, seen the one right over your shoulder there. No, there's there's a lot going on here. I So my wonderful sister introduced me to Outlander and Game of Thrones. <laughs> and I've been, I've been doing... Oh, so we're going there early. We're going, we are going there early because <laughs> this is why I'm so productive and there's more shit here. <laughs> so I have done nothing for two months but sit and watch these shows like binge through them today I finished game of thrones not a happy camper you at finished all. game of thrones no, no oh spoil yeah i mean i suppose we could do spoilers because it's been uh been on but maybe try not to do too many spoilers yeah i'm not gonna say anything i'm just pissed <laughs> it's, i'm not happy at all so whatever every outlander i'm upset too so <laughs> Anyways, I've been sitting here for hours and all I've been doing is quilling and watching these series. And it's just, it's unbelievable. I've gotten so much crap done just sitting there because I'm so <laughs> nervous and it's, it's great. I'm, my husband's about to divorce me, but other than that, we're good. So tell me what's your favorite part about Outlander? Because Outlander happens to be one of my favorite shows. I think it's just how they combined, you know, back in the days. And it was just so interesting how everything was in this romance story. I mean, there's so many different parts of Outlander that I loved. I can't just name one. Every series, it was just an emotional, stressful, like nail-biting disaster for me. It was just, it was, I, you know, I, my, I was on an, an emotional roller coaster for at least a month and a half. When did <laughs> I start this? No, September? No. I was, I've watched, when did I go to Cancun? Early August. Wow. I've done Outlander and I've done Game of Thrones in a month and a half. I don't know how you did eight seasons in a month and a half. I binged. <laughs> no, eight seasons. You just told me about Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. Game of Thrones. Sorry. No, I, I watched, I binged, I went to, I went in the bed, we, we go to sleep and I have my earphones on <laughs> with my phone instead of on Instagram or Pinterest, I'm on my phone watching these. So, so uh, now you need to start, uh, what is it? House of the Dragon? Uh, hello. I'm on episode two. <laughs> yes. And it's really upsetting me too. I just <laughs> can't, <laughs> this is driving me crazy and it's really, really good, but that's why, you know, I've done this. I've sat and I watched, and these are a series that I've, I don't, I never thought I would even be interested in. It's so good. I recommend <laughs> whoever's watching, if you haven't done it and you say, oh, it's not my type of show, watch it. You are going to fall in love. All right. Well. Oh, I love the men in both, both <laughs> series. The men are just amazing. <laughs> They're amazing. Yeah, just watch it to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay. Well, this is a channel about cross stitch and right? crafts. <laughs> well, you add me to the mix and we just talk about who knows. You know? <laughs> You're just talking about my feelings, guys. This is like, <laughs> this is great therapy for me. So, so, all right. Well, so now I know what you've been doing. <laughs> That's when I've been up to. Um, what have you been up to, Chris? I, you know, I have been working, um, and I also participated in the Needlework Expo. 
Nice. Which was a, a virtual uh, trade show for uh, cross-stitch shops where they could um, browse virtually a bunch of mm -hmm. designers' websites and uh, make, make wholesale purchases. Um, oh, so I how had did that a, go? Oh, it was awesome. I had a fantastic show. Uh -huh. um, I got a bunch of orders. I feel like I um, uh, reached out to a number of new shops that hadn't that haven't seen my charts uh, and patterns yet. So uh, that was pretty cool. And the big news uh, just the other day is another distributor picked up my charts. Oh, congratulations. So, thank you. So now Hoffman will be, um, will be uh, selling my charts. So now that's two distributors, Hoffman and Yarntree. Wow, Chris, that's super, that's awesome. Yeah, so I just got their first purchase order, and I am now all of a sudden swamped, and I have all of my charts. I'm just going to point the, that's just the half of it on my floor, and I'm getting ready to, um, you know, send out a big shipment to them. That is super cool. Yeah, so if you're uh, if you're a shop out there and you're watching and you only order from Hoffman, um, uh, take a look out for uh, Salty Stitcher Designs. So all of my charts will be with them, probably in the next uh, I would say next week and a half, two weeks. That's super cool. Yeah, and I've been designing all kinds of stuff, and I've been stitching. So I have three new designs. I love your logo in the back. You're so professional. Oh, thank you. Thank I haven't gotten there yet. I'm in a, a in a pigsty. <laughs> well, so I'm down here in my office. Um, I'm not up in my stitching room because it is so hot here in California. Uh, and the second floor, just uh, even though I have some portable air conditionings, it's just not keeping cool. Right. And then the internet has been iffy up there, so down in my office. So I brought my little signage and I have all of my charts and stuff here. Good for you. You get to see all your guitars and yeah, all the, my guitar collection, the piano, I hope to teach myself how to play at some in point. In between cross stitching, <laughs> expos. I have too, too, many, too many hobbies. Yeah. You um, do a little bit of everything. Yeah. What what's out? What else is going on? Oh, signed up for um, StitchCon. I believe Mom and I are on the wait list. Good for, for you. Year. Awesome. I figure there's a fifty fifty shot. Uh, I'll be able to attend because next year I move again. Oh, where are you moving? I don't know yet. Oh, I don't that's know nice. yet. So fifty fifty shot. That's like prime time moving. Uh, time. If I'm moving to the East Coast, it'll probably be easy to get to StitchCon. If I'm moving elsewhere, it'll be probably a little bit harder to add. Yeah. There. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. Just wow, a lot going on. I didn't realize I had so much. Mm -hmm. um, three new designs. One is at the Framers now. Two. I'm waiting on some fabric and some floss from Fortnite Fabrics and Susan at Treenway Silks. So once I get that, I'll get stitching on the uh, models. Very nice. Yeah. And those are your new designs? Those are my new designs. Yep. I'm not going to show them yet. Yeah. Don't show them yet. I'll put out a few. I did put out a sneak peek of one of them on my Instagram. Oh, I saw the corner. Yep. So I the put out a sneak peek. I was, uh, I was at the framers and that's the corner that had, you know, those test frames. Mm-hmm. So that was the frame that I chose, and that was like the little corner of it. So very nice. I'm excited. Yeah, I think. To see it. Wow, that was a lot. Okay, I'll stop talking now. You don't have to stop talking, but I'm just going to show you guys. I just saw it as I'm looking at myself in the camera. <laughs> what do you? Uh... This is how obsessed I am. Okay. Oh, you bought the books too. Oh, yes, I did. This is how, <laughs> because if I can't listen to it, I bought the audio. I'm going to read it. Okay. Wait, I got to get, I got to get a few things. I'm going to hit pause for a second. Okay. Okay. I'm back. And now Angie is gone. Oh, I'm here. Yes. Yeah, so I wanted to get my version of 
The first book of Outlander. I don't know if you can see how worn it is. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> it's, it's not the same one, is it? No, no, go tell the bees. I have the hard copy on my uh, desk, but this is the book one. I think I've read oh. it times. And yeah, it's that's all... here. This one. Here's one, three, four. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on, hold on. Wait. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Five, six, seven, eight. And I don't know what this one is. This That's one nine. Been... This is nine? Yep. I don't know. They sent me a hard version, so I ordered all of them. And I told I you you would like it. You resisted. I love it. I love it. Now I have to start over because the books are very different th from the movie. Yep. So, yeah, but it's such a good series. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to quill an Outlander piece. Of course. I'm designing it. Very cool. Yeah. Super cool. Um, okay. So let's start. Well, now that we're like 20 minutes in already, let's start with, I don't know, Ange, show us your finishes. Okay. It hasn't been framed, but we're almost there. Oh, this that's pretty. Ovarian cancer. Make teal. it put it closer, so it's you can see the one. detail. Oh, thank God! I just got my nails done. See, it's teal. Can you see the color really well? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. So this is for um, ovarian cancer. Hold on. Just, I'm widening it. This one I finished last night. My Hamsa hand, uh -huh. my evil eye. Very cool. Not neat. I'm going to do this in all different colors. Um, I have my flamingo. Oh, I like that one too. Yeah, the flamingo. Isn't that cool? This was really fun to do. Flamingos are my favorite animal, by the way. Very cool. Flamingo. And I think I've shown this before. Yep. This is a jellyfish, but I put her in a frame. I love it. So I'm getting there. Like, I'm making all of these pieces, and I can't get it together. Like, it's stages I have to go into. Um... I haven't even put anything on my website yet. So those are... What is the flower piece? Hold on. But that's... Is that not, a whip? Well, that's not an FFO. Oh, okay. Here's my... I think I showed this last time. Oh, I like that. My pineapple. And I think I'm going to sign these. Like when I become a huge quilling artist, <laughs> you know, and these pieces need like my name on it. Um, so those are fully finished. Now I awesome. have a bunch of others and the, the others are, I think I showed them before. Um, this is like halfway my crab. I'm cutting my crab out. Oh, I like the crab. That way I can put him onto a blank piece of paper and frame him. So I'm in the middle of doing that. That one is done. So do I get into my whips? Or are you um, doing yours? Well, first, let's... So, I don't have any finishes. Um, my one finish was my model, and that's at the framers. So, um, I'm not ready to show that just yet. Oh, okay. As a new design. Um, but what do you have on your Whipco board? Oh, hold on. My chair is super annoying. It makes noise every time I... Well, so first, what were um, August's numbers? So August was 25 and 20. So the elephant... Which is a finish, right? No, the elephant in the back is not finished yet. Oh, that big elephant. Okay. Yeah, that one's tedious. Uh, and... 20? 20, which is uh, my temperature quilling. Ah, uh, okay. And, and I'll show you. So it's like... Uh, a glass, like a cocktail. So I'll show that to you in a minute. 
Okay, so show us, so show us the those. Okay, so here on my board, this is my temperature quilling. So it is a a glass, like a cocktail glass. Yeah. Holy shit! And up here is a little umbrella that I'm gonna quill, and I'm gonna put, you know, uh -huh. uh, an orange here on the side. But this is Miami. So that's my. So it's hotter, hotter than shit there. It's hotter than shit. You see the red? So we're starting up here. Green yeah. is getting, you know, colder, obviously, and we're getting down to the red. So, and this is pretty much up to date, give or take like a couple of days. So nice. I try and do a little bit at a time. I like it. So Yeah, it's super cool. This is my first one I've done. So like the edges are kind of cornered, but you know, who cares? I didn't really take into account like the size of these to make it mm -hmm. all nice, but it's just something cool to do and see, you know, with the weather. I have another one I'm doing um, from Peru. My husband's Peruvian. Uh-huh. So I decided to do Lima, Peru. Oh, the temperature there. Temperature there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Isn't that neat? And they're in the... So this is hot. Going the into... The Southern Hemisphere, right? Yeah, they're... And it's cold there now. Yep. Yeah. So that's super cool to see. So let's see how this goes. That I thought cool. this was super neat. So obviously I got that from you, my temperature quill. What else do I have? Sorry, that's my, my dog. And this month, what wait, is- Wait, 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 we're, we're, that's plans, hang on. Oh shit. No, it's already done. Oh, you oh, Miko. finished it, oh, okay. I finished my flamingo. Yep. Um, and next is, okay, those are plants. No, so I'll, I'll put that down. Well. <laughs> so <laughs> are we still doing my whips? Um, yeah, let's keep rolling on. Okay. So here's my elephant. This was my first big project that I've done. And it's just taken me. That's gorgeous. Not a long time. I mean, I started it at Outlander halfway through. Halfway through Outlander, I started. I just, one ear is bigger than the other. I don't know if you noticed, but it's very, it's a very tiny. You can't tell. Maybe I'll, he's kind of looking to the left or something. Yeah, you can't but, tell. Yeah, so I just don't know what to do in here. So it's kind of taken me some time. Mm -hmm. So there's my, my elephant. And this was my, I don't know what you call it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm just rolling. I was, you know, messing with designs, how to roll paper. Um, it's 3D. So you see it. It's yeah, all it's beautiful. coming off. I've, you know, never done these little ball things before. Are you going to fill up the entire thing? So that's like a quilling sampler then. This is like a sampler and it's, it's super cool. I, and, and I seen it done, you know, you just, whatever comes to your mind and you just roll it and put it on there. So there's, and you know, all different flowers and. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah there's no rules to this. So it's super cool. Yeah. So I'm excited about this. I'm going to do something next time. Oh, wait, wait I can't talk about that yet. <laughs> Those are plans. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Okay. Awesome. So, somebody wants to say hi. Hi, Miss Portia. Hi. Say hi, Flossy Posse. I mean, hi, Flossy Posse. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the kitty cat. She she wanted to get on and say hi to everybody. Awesome. Okay, so the those are my whips. All right, so my whips. So on my whip go so 20 and 25 so 20 was the pelican white pelican uh-huh and 25 was the diver beautiful diver and buddha so i worked on uh my pelican and i don't i forgot the, to bring the diver over so i'm gonna have to go get it but, That's, and you just started that yep Yep, so this is uh, my pelican. So it is, hang on one second. 
No, Mila. Oh, he's getting the goggles. So this is a closer look. Oh, beautiful. So I love it. I'm uh, up on the top, top left. So I should be getting to um, the pelican's head in a little bit. This may be a stupid question. Yeah. But with cross stitching, can you start in the middle? Like, can you start at your favorite spot? You can. And, and a lot of people do. So it's not illegal. No, what? not illegal. A lot of people do, but with full, so they'll do it for several reasons. The first one is um, if they're stitching in hand and not in a hoop, if you start in the middle, you, it's less likely that your, that your, um, uh, finished product will look tilted in some way because of your tension. Oh, so that's okay, one reason gotcha. you can start in the middle. The other reason is that some people just like starting in the middle. Mm -hmm. I'm a top left or a top right starter, yeah. especially on full coverage pieces. Yeah, I would be a corner girl too. Yeah, so it just makes more sense. And I'm going to just run off and get the diver. Hang on. Okay, of course. Okay, so... See, here is the diver, diver and Buddha. I love it. So this is a picture of my friend who went diving in Hawaii and he dove down to this Buddha that just sits there. It's in about 30 feet of water. Uh, and then I ran it through a filter and it kind of created this because the picture, the underwater picture wasn't so great. Yeah. So I turned it into more of an abstract type cross-stitch pattern by rolling it through the filter. That's, I think that's beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. It gave and it more color too. Am. Yep. And this is where I am. So top left. So I, on this one, I started top right. You can see that. So I have a little bit of the top right done. Two more. Aha. Uh -huh. And then I decided to go back to the top left because I got tired of blue. Yeah. So those, that's the corner. So that's about how wide it's going to be. That is gorgeous. Looks like specs. I'm yeah, just so I'm a, I'm my a dog color. was about to eat our baby shoes. Oh, no. That mom just gave us. <laughs> wait, wait. We have that segment coming up. I have so much stuff. Okay, so that's um that's my August uh whip go and I so I met my goals for August. And what else did I work on? I have a bunch of whips, so I too worked on my temperature chart. So this is my temperature chart for uh, Southern California here. And you, so you can start it Southern, obviously the inside and then started in the middle January. It was a little chilly and then just kept going. Yep, that's the right one. Around in the circle, and now I'm all the way out here, and it's getting, we have a couple really warm days in Southern California. Yeah, that redness so is I crazy. So I expect a few more, few more reds. That's beautiful. Yep, and they're about uh, five by five squares. So that's pretty much up to date, and then I'm also working on one for um, my husband in Alice, in Alice Springs. Yes, I saw that. Oh, beautiful. Making progress. Yep. So that is Uluru uh, down at the bottom, the rock. Um, and we went to visit on the last trip. And then also in the Southern Hemisphere, so like Peru, started off in the summertime. And now it's wintertime. So Winter. um, beautiful. I finished this balloon. Yep. I love so the transition. Balloon. It's super cool. Yeah. So the balloon is June, July, and August. And then I just started September, just started the um, next balloon right here. Nice. Zip the bag up, Portia. Yeah, so that's um, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, my husband wants me to put a kangaroo on there, and he wants me to put maybe the two other rocks that we saw, the two other um, rocks that we visited. So, But I don't know if I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'll put the kangaroo and maybe a camel, but I I don't think I'm going to put the other rocks yet. Yeah, you already have a rock in there. 
Yep. Uh, the other thing I was working on was my black work. And I didn't take it out of the hoop, but you can get get the gist from this. This is um, one uh, little hexagon a week. That is beautiful. So Thank you do you. a different design in each box every yep. week. Yep, every week. I think I want to do that. This is um, the design. <laughs> like, where did you get the? So, so idea? the design, the design is free. It's on the Facebook group Snarky and Modern, Snarky and Modern uh, Needlework or Cross Stitch. I'll send you yeah. the link and I'll put the link below. Um, well, but it no, is you know, I can't do that because I mean that is such tedious work. I can't do it with paper. But I'm going to do a design in each box. Super cool. Yeah. So that's um. That is that project, and then the other one. Wow, you're just like me. Two more. So I worked on the lions. Let me take this apart. I finished a page on the lions and started a new page. The progress. The four-year cross-stitching. Oh, wow. There is I'm progress. Trying, I'm trying to finish this this year. Oh, my. Yeah, that's nice. So I finished, um, I believe it was this page. This page and then down here, the bottom. Mm -hmm. I'll get a close up so you can see. That's beautiful. And I'm getting ready to start the next page. So I thought I started it, but I'm getting ready to start the next page. And this is it, Ange. So it's this across, and that's it. Christy, that's so exciting. I mean, I'm excited oh, because that's, that's like 40 pages, but you're almost done. How many pages is it? One, two, I think I have four pages probably a total of five pages left that's beautiful and it's almost done and then what oh and then it goes to i think i'm going to send it to Aunt judy in fort lauderdale so she can finish it as like a like a wall hanging or a tapestry yeah i don't nice i don't know it needs a bath that's first and foremost right you need to send it to the what do you do you send it to the cleaners no i think i'm gonna actually wash it by itself oh. on like the delicate cycle. Yeah. Or you can it's, hand wash it. Yeah, but it has so much like ladybird hair, cat hair. Oh. <laughs> you need a yeah. lint remover. <laughs> <laughs> it it needs some like agitation. Yeah. To get all the cat hair out well, of as this. you roll that up, I see more projects that I forgot to. <laughs> Forgot to show you. Go ahead. While I'm putting this away. My, my office is a disaster now. This is my tree of life. Oh, that is beautiful. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. So this is one that I have to put in the frame and I haven't done it yet. But at least I have it on the background, which is excellent. And I haven't signed him. I know just talked about that because I don't yeah. know how, I don't know how to do my signature. I don't know if I want to sign my real name or Ashley J. Milan, which is my company name. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do all do, that. I think you do both. Yeah, but it's going to be too much, I think maybe too much writing on there. I don't know. Oh. So we'll see. Oh, well, you can create it and then, and then get a stamp. That's true. But when I become really rich selling all of this stuff, I think they would want my real signature. <laughs> well, you can that get is... your real signature in a stamp. Yeah, but I think they want the ink. Like, okay. Ink. All right. All right. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. So right. um, I have one more whip. Okay, go ahead. I was just going to have... think because I'll forget. Just text me okay. later that. on my series. 
of what I'm going to watch next. All right. Hold that thought. Okay. All right. So last, last whip, I've been working on a crochet project. Um, this is a baby blanket and you the baby pregnant? is pregnant. No, <laughs> no, but you, funny you should say that because I think <laughs> Google thinks I am. I think Google oh. and Facebook think I am pregnant because I've been searching baby blankets and then I clicked on this. Um, oh, that's uh, it. This Facebook series of pictures of like newborn babies. Anyway, those two searches, I, I swear to God, I think Google and Facebook think I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, they're going to start so, sending me ads for baby diapers and stuff. Like, anyway. Yeah. So wait, this is just very odd. Tell me how this whole thing came up. What, the baby blanket? Yeah. How did well, we start? So our good friends, Brett and Laura, um, are having a baby. Oh, okay. And I don't think they watch the squash too, but even if they do, they can know about the blanket. Um, and beautiful. Yeah, so this is the baby blanket. And so I've done about two feet worth of work. Uh huh. Oh my God. No, um, yeah. So this is the width. And I think I've got about maybe a foot left. I'm not going to make it too big. And this is all um, double crochet. Beautiful. So my pl I'm a double crochet queen. Yeah. So I just go back and forth while watching. This yeah. one was uh, watching The Bachelorette. So you can see how I got all bent out of shape one night and dropped a few stitches and then <laughs> oh, you added a few stitches. I don't know if you can see. Oh, no, it's not too no. bad. You can't. You No, nobody would be able to oh, notice. Oh, it's on this side. A little, it's a little wavy on this side. <laughs> oh, that's okay. You wouldn't know. That's all right. Um, it's beautiful. Hold it up closer because I can't see like the color. Is it just white? No, there's specks in it. So there's speck here. I'll show up the. There are specks. Oh, um, beautiful. Purple and yellow specks. So it's a cream colored yarn with purple yeah. and yellow specks beautiful yep so i, I think you uh, do all of that and crochet yeah so but it's the easy crochet project double crochet all the way and um i'll probably i was looking up borders um which is why i think uh google thinks i'm pregnant yeah <laughs> um, because i do want to block it with a certain kind of border and i haven't decided what border so once i get the length right once I get the length right, I'll just go around a couple times. That's pretty. And create a border. And yeah, hopefully I can uh, give this to them in October. No, that's that's beautiful, Chris. Thanks. That's something that's just, you know, from the heart. It's like no other gift. I love all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, because I figure there are some, everyone else is getting them bottles and all that good stuff. I like to make. Yes, authentic stuff. I like to make this stuff. So that is my last whip. And then um, for whip go, what are the numbers um, for plans? Oh, plans. Hold on. Uh, Portia wants to show us something before we get into the plans. She just drew a beautiful picture. That is gorgeous. Boy, flossy, posse. And, and, and say that, that mean that says flossy, sub posse. And right? hit sub bell right now what's sub sub me subscribe oh see oh I'm, oh okay Look, it says for flossy posse and subscribe that does and posse. hit that bell right now <laughs> yes i'm gonna use this sign yes. yes so the bell i don't know where the bell is up here where's yeah. the bell up here, up here. i, I then know subscribe it's... and then comment below yeah comment below yeah <laughs> this Thank year, you. Use this. I'll be getting money from your projects. <laughs> We're gonna make a lot of money from my projects. <laughs> All right, so plans for WIPGO. So it's uh for September. What are the numbers? Three, three and twenty-two. Okay. All right, so for me, three is the sea turtle, which is um I finished. So the Hawaiian sea turtle. Mm-hmm. 
finished a couple months ago. This is one of um, one of the newer designs in oh, my beautiful. shop. Oh, Yep. And what is the other one? What number? Three and 22. 22. 22 was Stitching with Friends. So I finished this one. And this was the one that I stitched for you on very small. I stitched oh, yes. over one. I have on... that. Yep. So that one's done. So I already have two. I can use the wild card for uh, September because I've already finished my whip go for September. Um, oh, okay. So my plans are to do another page of the lions. So that's that's the plan for September is temperature charts, the black work, uh -huh. stitch along, and the lions. And then I think if I get some fabric and floss in, I'll start my models. Oh, okay. So those are my plans, so. Nice. And I'll show, oh, what I will do is one of my models is going to be in sulky thread. And I already have, um, there will be a thread pack. And these are the colors. So this is my sneak peek. Oh, that's pretty. Yep. So we have some reds, uh, or yeah, red, a pink, a green, an a orange, gold, or a gold, brown, a little bit of brown. So this is the sneak peek for one of my models. Very nice. And then the other model, the sneak peek is yeah. going to be a variation of blue and gold or silver. Oh, that's so pretty. I haven't, I've pulled a few threads, um, but I have not decided on the final blue, gold, silver, rose gold. Just do so all of them. All right. What do you, what are your plans, Ange? Okay. Um, so since I finished my flamingo already for this month, my plans are to work on the dog. Mm hmm Because that's the other number. And then since I missed a lot of this year, I'm kind of working backwards. So um, I am in May. So wait, yeah, I am in May. So I did this one for May. So mm -hmm. I think this year I'm gonna do, or this month, this is September. I'm gonna do the skull and I'm gonna do the medical. So I'm working backwards because I'm going to have finished. So uh, get, get a little closer on the medical one. Oh. Let me see. What is it? It's a heartbeat. Wait. Sorry. Oh, okay. Got it. You see? Right. With right a there. stethoscope. Oh, pretty. Okay. And that should take about a day to do. So it's rather quick, depending how big I want to make it. So yeah. So this one. Those other two. And then I have another whip up here. That's my big um, elephant mm -hmm. that I have not finished yet. And um, that's it. I don't want to overwhelm myself. I think I need to um, take a break. <laughs> <laughs> like I've been doing this hours and hours. My fingers start hurting. My wrist starts hurting. Uh-huh. And now I'm not using a tool. I got so good. <laughs> I got so good. I'm now doing it with my fingers. So my fingers are raw. So I got to slow down a little bit. All right. She, my kids, they always make fun of me. They say All right, like, so, so dramatic. So before, okay, so that's good. So before you have to punch out... I wanted to talk about our um, giveaway. So we did a 200 subscriber giveaway. Wait, on wait the last... before that, we got Mom's Closet. Yeah, we're getting there. But I'm Oh, the okay, okay, first. okay. I didn't get your agenda. Well, because I didn't create one, so I'm doing this on the fly today. Let her finish. No. Oh, okay, so FlossTube44, we did our 200 subscriber celebration giveaway, which was a beautiful uh, scissor fob, and I believe I added a needle minder in there. Oh, and... nice. I had, um, we had a few comments and I did the random comment uh, generator and let me go to the comments. So Leanne 
Congratulations, Leanne. Yay, Leanne. Uh, I sent you a note uh, in, I commented on your comment. And so please send me uh, an email with your address so I can send off uh, the package to you. Oh, so congratulations. Awesome. Th thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who watched and commented on the video. Um, yeah, so that's exciting. Yep. That's always fun to win. You know, I never won anything. You know, it's so, <laughs> so sad. So congratulations, you guys that are winning. Yeah, Leanne, congratulations. Again, send me an email uh, yes. with your address so I can uh, send you the package. Um, and then, okay, so last item on the agenda, I think, what I found in mom's closet. That is the new segment we added last week. Angie um, found a few gems. And I think she found a few gems again. So Angie, what did you find in mom's closet? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we are going back to 1983. Okay. <laughs> so let's take it back, get in your back to the future car, okay? Wow, is that a dimensions kit? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Is it the full kit? Turn it around. Is it like yeah. the thread is uh, there? The and the don't show the patterns, but the the thread is there. The is is that Ada in there? Oh yeah. Oh, and, and the hoop. The hoop is here. We have the thread and the thread. Did mom give that to you? Um, I just went in there and took it. She has boxes of stuff. So we were going through it and she was just laughing because she couldn't believe how much stuff she had. Look, the felt, every, everything is in perfect condition. Perfect. So per we have two hoops. Out oh, of so three. follow the ornaments. Yeah, this is just... This is crazy stuff. And there's books that are stuffed in there, 1987. Is that, wait, put it closer. Is that 101 minis? Look at how wild this is. This looks like ancient. <laughs> Looking at this crap makes me feel like I'm an outlander. <laughs> <laughs> Taking me back. Oh, here's the, the other side. Oh, and there's more on the back. Okay. Look at so how those wild. are cute. All right, what else did you find in mom's closet? Does it say diet? It says diet with a question mark. Yeah, like, wow, that is hilarious. What? When is that book from? 1987. <laughs> this is 1987, and um, to go with your beautiful crochet, here are baby bibs from Very 1987. Nice. Isn't that cool? Okay. Um, this has really nothing to do with anything. <laughs> but 1979, the year I was born. Uh-huh. Okay. So this is just advertisement. Okay. But if you Why is that in mom's this, closet? Um, I don't know. It's a patio cover. Oh, patio covers, but Look at how wild these pictures are. <laughs> Look at this. Look at these cars. <laughs> this is a time warp. Look. Isn't this amazing? And I have a giveaway. Look at, Look at that carpet. Is that brown carpet? Yeah, it looks like our carpet. Remember brown our carpet. House? And wood and wood paneling. Yes. Look at this. <laughs> Look at those chairs. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, so, Grandma Jane, I think, used to have those chairs. Yes. It was out on her patio. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Oh gosh. So so do you have any other goodies in mom's closet from mom's closet? I do. Let me show you one thing. Hold on. We're not there yet. Hold on. So mom apparently um, inquired 
um, about the aluminum corporation. Oh, let me not put that address there. <laughs> but look at this. Isn't this wild? 1979, April, okay. May. Wait, and so this is right after I, I was born. Yeah. Isn't this crazy? This paper is like going to fall apart. Okay. Um, one more thing. What? <laughs> I don't know which ones were yours and which ones were mine. Here are our baby shoes. Oh boy. Look at this. Oh my God. Isn't this crazy? These things are rocks. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you chances can, are they were both of ours. You can hurt somebody with these. <laughs> How did we walk in them? Look at this. Wow. And they, look, you hear it? Uh-huh. Like rocks. Those are awesome. And isn't it hard to pick up? You mm. must, you should be able to do a quilling project around that. Can you imagine putting those little baby shoes, mounting them in between, uh, so I'm pointing and like people can figure out what I'm pointing at, um, putting it in like the middle of those flowers. Why would we hang them? Yeah. Right? Do you think? You could, yeah, mount those and create like a quilling project around it. I could. I haven't really decided how I'm going to incorporate it. It's, is that it's, in the same pr closet as the 101 minis? It and was <laughs> the box next to it. And I said, Mom, <laughs> what is this box? Look at this. It's in the original box. Jumping and this is, goes back to your days probably because 19, wh when were you born? 76. So my guess, my guess is that we both wore those shoes, Ange. Yeah. So it was in, it's in the original box. This is, <laughs> this is crazy. Um, and there's so much other stuff. I have it piled here, ready to go. Um, you're getting a box, by the way, with your baby book and all your pictures. And Oh, that's sweet. Okay. It's coming. Okay. Portia has something else. This, what do we do? All right, Portia. A giveaway. I draw the secret quick for $30. Oh, very cool. For $30. For $30. It's, not a, it's a giveaway, ladies and gentlemen, for oh, $30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we can be millionaires. Yeah, so we can be millionaires. There we if go. If you don't want to take it, then that's Well, it. and should we have to see if mom wants to give away those books. I won't, I won't do a giveaway just yet for those books, but you'll have to see if mom wants to keep them or give them away, and we can do a... We can do a giveaway. Um, oh, for the for the stitching, for, cross stitching. Yeah, the dimensions kit and the um, hundred and one minis. I have a ton of books here, and that's <laughs> half of what is over there. She has um, whips galore. Portia, I said, Portia, what are you doing? Are you posing? <laughs> this is. I don't know where she came from. This child is not mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my kid. <laughs> okay, enough. So, um, yeah, she has a lot of whips going on. And I said, hold on to them so you could, you know, show them. But she has a lot of half-done stuff in there. Cool. Grandma. So, it's fun. You'll see. Um, but we have a ton of books. Let's see what she thinks. And um, that could be definitely good giveaways. I mean, yeah, especially because Christmas... Christmas holiday stuff is coming up, and if you need a quick, uh, a quick kit. And, and, and when October is coming up, I'm gonna be doing the same thing as mommy. I'm gonna be doing the Halloween quilling, and October, November, and Nova, and the Thanksgiving one, and the and the Christmas. One. Yes, <laughs> this one loves the camera, guys. I'm sure yeah. you guys have a child that one of them is just loves the camera, constant. So I do have Christmas books that I didn't show, um, cross stitching and quilling. Um, but maybe that can be for next time. I mean, yeah, by our next, by our next video, we'll have a Christmas book giveaway. 
Um, some of those books have been in there for 43 years, so I doubt mom is going to miss them. Um, she doesn't know what's in there. <laughs> and I will give you a sneak peek of what you're going to see out of mom's closet next time. And it's really quick. You guys ready? Is that macrame? <laughs> Wait, 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 does that say to not? What, what? To not or not to not? Oh. To not or not to not? <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll open the book next, next time we're on here. <laughs> this is just great stuff. Great that stuff. is fantastic, Ange. It is. I love it. All right. So if you guys like what I found in mom's closet, go ahead and comment below and also comment on the weirdest thing you have found in a family member's closet. Oh, yeah. And if you're interested, it doesn't have to be mom. It could be books. mom's closet, could be dad's closet, could be grandma's closet. It, in a fan, what is the weirdest thing that you have found in the closet? That could be good or bad. Her bikini. My bikini. No, you're uh, not let's keep your it. Bikini. Let's keep it. Let's keep it clean. Yeah. Grandma's old clean. bikini. Yeah. Oh, mama. Uh, my all right. Well. Yeah. And I think we have covered. Oh yes. The agenda in my head. Um. No, this is good. In record in record time. Yes. Yeah, subscribe. And hit that button, guys. Hit the bell. Help us out. We love doing this. We get together. This is yeah. how we bond. You know, it's a crafting family thing. And we just love what we do. And we just sit here and just talk. And it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Th th thanks for joining us. Um, keep an eye out for some new patterns in the next month or so. Maybe two months from Salty Stitcher Designs. And like, subscribe. And I... I think that's it. Yes. Happy, happy stitching, happy quilling, happy crocheting, happy crafting. Watch Outlander and Game of Thrones. Ga <laughs> you will not be disappointed. <laughs> oh, you and she said to remind you, what are you going to watch now? Um, well, you got to help me. Um, I'm really, I'm going to, I want to go back in time again. You know, so I'm thinking, uh, how's Lord of the Rings? I don't know. I haven't done it. Maybe we can start watching that together. I Never just seen oh, there's a trilogy out. So maybe I should start that from the beginning. I'm so intrigued. I love it. Uh, guys, in put in the comments, if you have anything for us to watch, you know, put it down there. I'm big on Netflix. Let and us, Let us know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my other two, the other two is Orange is the New Black. Yeah, I haven't kept up with that, but I've saw an I've oldie, seen... oldie but goodie, another oldie but goodie. Well, yeah, not old, but oldish in in TV series world. Uh, Breaking Bad. I started the watching that too, and I just stopped. Didn't keep <laughs> me, I guess. <laughs> I maybe have to restart it over. All right. Well, again, if you. Uh, if you have a good show that Angie can continue to binge, let her know. Let me know, guys. <laughs> Love it. All right, everyone. We'll see you in a few weeks, maybe roughly a month, depending on. Uh, actually, we'll do a few weeks. We'll uh, try and get it, get one in uh, first week in, of October, and get caught yep. up on, on um, Whipco, and then also uh, let you know what we're going to be doing in terms of holiday crafting. Which is always fun. Oh, October. Nice. Yep. Love it. Yep. I may have a new start. I won't uh I won't say uh, confirm that, but I may have a Halloween new start. That's always fun. Yep. Halloween's big for you yeah. guys. Yeah. So anyway, Later, thank, guys. thanks for joining us and um we'll see you in a few weeks. Bye. Bye, Bye Flossy Posse. <laughs>